Hey guys, it's Julie from Julie's Designs. This video is going to be part of a YouTube challenge. It is the $5 Dollar Tree Christmas Centerpiece Challenge. I had to write that down so I didn't forget what to say. So this is brought to you by Pretty Simple Sherry YouTube channel and Mix and Measure YouTube channel. So the challenge is to go to the Dollar Tree and spend $5 and create a centerpiece out of it. It was lots of fun. I hope y'all enjoy this video and then you can see the playlist below and see what all the other YouTubers did for this challenge. All right, I'm at the Dollar Tree. I'm about to go in. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like $5 is not a lot to make a centerpiece, but I am up for the challenge. So let me go in and see what I can find. Hopefully they have lots of Christmas stuff out. It's October, but you know, people start putting out Christmas stuff super early. All right, let's go see what I can find. Okay, please tell me how a $5 Dollar Tree challenge turned into me spending $45 at the Dollar Tree. I'm sure y'all can feel me on that one. They just got so much cute stuff. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I got for the challenge. It was super stressful. Like, they didn't have much Christmas stuff out. So, I decided everybody else is probably going to be doing like looking in the Christmas section so I tried to get out of there and really get creative so first I have this wire basket these are my five items these cups they had nicer options but I needed a lot of them so this 12 cups for a dollar I got a pair of candlesticks not candlesticks the uh candles a pair of candles one pick I made sure I had like a really nice one with a lot of stuff because I got to make it go a long way. And then I never seen this before, but it had wired garland ties. So this is a good bit of greenery. They have the trees and stuff too, but then I got to take it apart. So this is perfect. So that is my five items I got and we will see how I'm going to turn this into a centerpiece. I have confidence. I have confidence. Whew. $5 for centerpiece. That's not a lot. Right. These are all the materials I have. I'm going to start off with the wire basket. I'm going to lay out my cups to figure out how many cups I want to use. I think eight's too many, so I'm going to use six. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and make slots for the cups. This is just some wire I had laying around. I'm pretty sure they have some at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't find some. Plus I ran out of money, so I'm just gonna use what I have. I wish this wire was a little bit stronger. It's very stringy, but it'll do the job. So I'm gonna put one string, one wire down the middle and then one on each side of the cups and that will create six slots for the cups to go in. And I'm cutting the string longer and wrapping it around the basket a lot and that will create texture. I want this basket to look very old so the more wire I have going around, um, the more authentic it will look. If you don't want to use wire for this, you could also use twine, but the effect I'm going for, I wanted the wire. So what I'm doing now is where the wires connect, I'm just adding even more wire. I want 
the wire to be very thick. I want this basket to look very old. And it doesn't matter what color wire you use because you're gonna end up painting this. Okay, now I'm gonna create some handles. You could have a handle that goes over the top, but I wanna do two handles on the side. So what I did was I folded over the wire in half to make it a little bit thicker and then twist it around. And then I'm gonna twist it on the sides of the basket to keep it in place. Now I'm just gonna add some more wire just on the edges. This is just for effect. It has no purpose, it's just decorative. I want wire all along the edges. I'm sorry y'all, my hands are not cute. I have a market I'm getting ready for, so I've been painting and working like crazy. I hurt my thumb, so I have to keep a Band-Aid on it, but then it gets all full of paint every time I paint, so. Sorry y'all, I work, my hands will never look cute in these videos. <laughs> okay, now I'm putting the cups back in just to see the placement, if I wanna do anything else. The middle ones, there's a bit of separation. I wish the basket was a little bit shorter, but it's not, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an extra piece of wire just to make up for that separation so it won't be a big blank spot and the cups will fit a little bit more snugly into the basket. And then I'm putting that piece where the two wires connect just to keep it together and to make it, uh, give it more texture. Perfect. Okay, now I think I want to add a little bit more wire to the sides. So on the bottom edge, I'm just gonna go and add a little bit more wire. That way when you're looking at it from the side, there's something on the side as well, um, not just on the top. So I'm gonna do all this, then I'm gonna go in the shop and paint this basket black. And while it dries, I will work on something else. Okay, this next part, we're gonna get a little bit dirty. I had to get creative and use some free stuff because I have to make my $5 look as expensive as possible. So I'm gonna get this cup a little bit of wet, a little wet. I wanna kind of, okay, that didn't really do anything. They're made of plastic, so the water just came off of it. I want them to make look make these look a little bit dirty. I might have to do paint because they're not, not really getting as dirty as I wanted it to. This is just dirt out my yard, so it's free. And I just want the cups to look a little bit brown, a little bit dirty. Okay, that's good. That's the look I'm going for. I don't want like the dirt sticking to it, but I just want it to look a little bit dirty. A little bit brown. Not so perfect. Oop, kind of rustic. Okay, that's good. That's the look I'm going for. Okay, and then we're gonna fill it with dirt. You could also, if you wanted to spend more money, you could use the uh, little foam pieces from the Dollar Tree in the floral section, but we're going to use our free dirt. All right, that's one. There we go. Just rub the dirt on. Some of it will stick, some of it will come off. We don't want it to be chunky. We just kind of want it to be little colored. Get the inside too because the dirt's not going to go all the way to the top. 
so we want that brown color on the inside as well. I'm just going to go down with it so that it kind of looks painted. Okay, so my black paint has dried and you can stop here if you want, but it's not uh, looking old enough for me. So what I'm going to do to make it look even more aged and authentic is I just got some black paint from my cry closet and some cinnamon from my kitchen and you need a brush so all you do is you're gonna put you're just gonna glob on some black paint wherever you want and then you take your cinnamon and you sprinkle it on top of the paint and it'll stick to that paint and it gives it like this old cool rusty look I like to really glob the paint on because that just just adds even more texture to it. So I'm definitely going to do all the places where I added the wire. And then I'm going to go back and do some of the edges that will be seen from the side. I'm not going to worry too much about the middle because that won't be seen that much once the... Uh, the cups are in there so I'm mostly just getting the edges that will be seen I love this effect it looks so authentic it really looks like rust and you can even go back over and even glob it on more and add more texture I'm just gonna randomly put it on the sides. I don't want to think about it too much. You can pick some of that up. That adds more texture if you just kind of mix in this and build on it. Okay. It's pretty much like using glitter. You just put the glue and sprinkle it, but you're using the paint as your glue. Let me show y'all up close how cool this looks looking. I love this effect. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then we're going to decorate something else while this dries. Okay, now we're gonna decorate our cups using the other stuff that we bought. So we have this candlestick, but I need six of them. So we're gonna have to cut this down into different pieces. And of course it's gonna be different sizes, but I'm okay with that. never cut a candlestick before okay there we go that's the trick I need some scissors to cut the wick okay. all right and then I'm gonna light these to make them really look like candles this one's the easy one. We need this one to look like the rest of them. So this one needs to be lit too. Put that right there. Okay. So 
So you might have to burn down the candle a little bit to find the wick. There we go. I found it. Got a little. Okay. So now we're going to take our cups and we're going to put the candles in them. Now we're going to take our greenery and just kind of decorate it and make it a little Christmassy. Let me grab my dirt because I want to put a little bit more dirt in each of them just to make it a little bit higher and kind of keep the candle in place a little more now that I see how it's going to look. It's okay if they're not all exactly the same height. That's the cool thing about the rustic look. It's kind of just organic and imperfection adds character, right? I am making a mess. Why don't I do it over the bowl, right? That might be a good idea. When y'all craft, do y'all make a big mess? I am such a mess maker. That's why my hands always look like this. You are never going to see a video from me that my hands look good. Like, it's just not going to happen. And it's because I work and I use my hands. And I don't wear gloves when I should wear gloves. Okay. Now I have my uh, wired garland. Lots of pieces. This is perfect. Okay, this is a little cheapo looking. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into my shade real quick. I don't need all these pieces. I'm going to pick like four pieces. I feel like that's plenty. Now, you can use fake snow, but then you got that dust everywhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly spritz them with some white spray paint and it'll give that fake snow look without like that dusty effect and it'll stay. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I spray painted these with a little bit of white. Can you see the difference? So I am definitely a strong believer in you add more color, more texture to something, the more expensive it looks. All right, now we're gonna decorate our little pieces. So I'm not sure what I'm doing or how I want it to look. I'm just going to add and I don't know, see how it goes. I'll know when to stop. I'm not gluing anything. So if you wanted to change this piece up for the seasons, you definitely could because the only thing that's going to make it Christmas looking is the decorations that I'm putting in here. The rest of it is going to be very neutral. So I'm going to start off with just a sprig of this greenery that I'm kind of tucking into the dirt so it kind of lifts up. You obviously do not want to light these candles. Um once this is in here because that would be a little bit of a fire hazard. This is just going to be decoration. So these are wired so you can absolutely move them around. Okay, now we're going to take apart this little decorative piece right here that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have six cups, so we're gonna have to make this go a long way all right I'm going to cut off each of these little sprigs of red so I know what I have to work with and then I'm gonna stick that in each of them I love these red berries when I find like some good ones we where we live, it is super hot. So everything, you know, if you put your stuff in the attic, everything kind of melts. So when I find some really good um, red berries that last in the attic, I definitely pick them up. Okay, now I'm going to, let me clear this off so you can see what I'm doing. 
They have three of these granary pieces, so I'm gonna try to get six pieces out of here to add that. And then we'll have some pine cones. There's only three pine cones, so I'm gonna have to just pick three to put it in, but I feel like that's okay. Let me see if I can get it off with my scissors. Oh, you know what? Let me actually, I'm actually gonna cut the wire so that way I can stick it in the dirt instead of just laying it there. Okay. If I have wire cutters, that will work better. If you don't have wire cutters, you can kind of make a dent with your scissors and then go back and forth and it falls off. Cute! Ooh, sorry, y'all have to watch me struggle through this. And I bought, I bought uh, wire cutters. Why was there? Where are they at? It would be helpful if I had them with me, right? I'm loving the pine cones. It definitely adds a little more of a natural effect to it. Okay, I feel like the pine cones need to be in the ones with the thicker candles. Okay, what I'm going to do is the ones that don't have a pine cone, I'm going to go back and add some a little more greenery. They had these, let me see, I don't know if these look too fake, these leaves that came with the greenery. No, I don't want those. Okay. So I'm going to add some more of this stuff to the ones that do not have a uh, pine cone. Actually, I want to put it next to the piece that's already there. And I'm going to wrap it kind of around the cup. All right, candle, you need to stay still. Okay, I feel like that looks good. Okay, these are done. I just need to add another piece to these. And I do not mind the dirt showing through. I really like seeing the dirt as well. Okay, one more piece. that granary right in the middle so cute right okay let me go grab my basket and clean this area up and then we'll put everything together okay there's one more thing I want to do to this basket before I decorate it I want to add some twine to the handles this is just some twine I have I think it's probably from the um uh, from walmart i know the dollar tree also has twine but their twine's much smaller this one's a little bit thicker so i'm just going to tie a knot on the edge and then wrap it around And this will tie in a little bit more of that brown natural element that ties into the pine cones. It's gonna make these handles look a little bit thicker and make this basket look more expensive. Definitely does not look like a dollar basket. So cute. I can't wait for y'all to see everything all put together. Just 
fly off the end. And I'm just gonna cut the excess string off. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and put everything together. a bunch of these they have the plastic clear frames for a dollar and I'm doing that big craft show and what I'm doing this year is I'm not wasting my time pricing stuff that I have a lot of so everything's not gonna be individually priced what I'm gonna do is gonna put a big price tag because I noticed last year people would shop as they walk by so I want the price tag to be big and bold where people can see it as they walk in by instead of small on the the pieces and I'm sorry for the video of this nasty um, band-aid on my finger I had an injury in the workshop so I have to make sure it's nice and covered and doesn't get infected and then they also have these little uh, display easels and this is also for the market. I'm gonna put them up and display some stuff. It'll just make it easier and for a dollar, I'll take that. Okay, uh, just tape and face wipes for my son. He likes these, you know, teenagers. You gotta make cleaning your face as easy as possible. Tissues for my car. They had the puffs with lotion for a dollar. So these are for my car because my daughter used all the ones out my car the other day. Oh, I finally got me some wire cutters. I've been using uh, the ones out of the shop that are my husband's and he has everything set up on his pegboard and he gets mad if everything's not put back. So these I can keep in the outside kitchen where I work and I don't have to borrow his anymore. I don't know why I waited so long to get those. Oh, these are awesome. They're at my, I'm actually at a different Dollar Tree. My local Dollar Tree never has these things. They're four for a dollar. I use these on my signs a lot, so I pick some of those up. I love the uh, succulents at the Dollar Tree, and these are new. Of course, I take them out of the pots, but look. Sometimes I paint them to look more natural, like this one I would definitely paint. But look, this one already looks natural. So I picked up a bunch of succulents. And I use them to decorate, put on signs. I bought some of this ribbon. It's lace. Can you see it? Lace ribbon. Definitely will use that to decorate. Oh, I was excited to find these. So I saw these a few months ago and I had posted them on my Facebook page because I thought this was an amazing deal and I never seen them again. Well, they had like four of them. So I bought three of them because I didn't buy them when I found them because I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. But I think I wanna hang them in my master bathroom. And I got three so I can put them like at different heights. And you just put some little rocks and a succulent in those. I got I mean, envelopes, you know, when the school wants money. You gotta send in an envelope with their name. A Noonie for the baby. This is the only brand that she'll take. So every time I find one, I pick it up. Usually Dollar Tree doesn't have them. So I think I picked up two, but I think I lost one while I was shopping. You know, it fell out my cart. Oh wait, I did get two. Awesome. Um, Some twine. I like this twine to put my tags on my items, like my price tags. And there's three rolls. I can have them at di in different places wherever I work. And then I finally found some tiny baskets. So if you watched my DIY Halloween hanging basket, I did a big one. And I couldn't find smaller ones at my Dollar Tree. So they only had a few. So I picked them up. If I don't give it to them, make them this year because Halloween's like in three days. Um, I'll have them for next year. So I picked up four baskets and the little 
um, chain to go with it. And I needed one more, what, what they're called, a pot hanger. So I needed one more of these. So now I am set for next year. I'm gonna try to get it done for Halloween. That's in a few days, but if not, I have all the pieces I need for next year. Okay, now I need to go home and try to turn my five pieces into a centerpiece and work on some projects to pay for my $45 shopping trip to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Give this video a big